Okay, this is identifying proportional and non-proportional relationships in graphs, part two. And this is actually going to be really short. It's just going to be an explanation of the activity that you are doing tonight. So no notes. You're just going to be applying what you know. So the activity is you're going to be using the data and information that you were given in class, and you're going to create the following report. Basically, you're going to be stating the problem. You will create a table using the data that you are given that represents the problem. And then you're going to graph the data. And then you're going to state whether the problem shows a proportion or not and explain how you know. So for the problem, some things that we're going to be looking for as part of your grade is making sure that you copy down the problem in its entirety inside your report. And your table needs to include labels and ratios and their corresponding unit rates or equivalent ratios so that you can compare them. When you do the graph, it needs to be on grid paper and include a title, labels and numbers for each axis, five data points with the ordered pairs as labels, and a line that connects all of the data points. And for your explanation, it needs to be in complete sentences. You need to include a statement of whether it's proportional or not, and use any definitions or vocabulary to explain uh, why you know whether it is or it is not a proportion or a proportional problem. All right, you are going to present your findings in class whether they are correct or not, or complete or not. So everybody will be doing a presentation. Some things to consider. What does it mean for a display to be both visually appealing and informative? And for a display to be both visually appealing and informative, the reader should be able to find the data and the results fairly quickly and somewhat enjoyably, meaning that it should look nice and neat and easy to read. All right, there you go. You have your information and your task. So that will be your work for tonight and for and to be ready for the next class. All right, see you in class.